Sam Smelt has joined us in the studio, nearing the end of uh, a full season of British Touring Car Championship racing. Um, give us a, an overview of the development that you feel that you've made. You've had some highs and lows, and Alton Park was a particular high. Yeah, uh, you saying that re makes me realise how fast this uh, season's gone already. Um, but it's been uh, quite a steep learning curve um, coming back from GTs again. Uh, I feel like the transition to to from touring car to GT was fairly easy, but then coming back again has been uh, been quite difficult. But uh, the last couple of rounds, particularly, I think we've made a good step forward uh, with me adapting to the car and knowing how the, I want the car. Um, and yeah, um, hopefully we can push forward in the last. Is it now two races after this mm. weekend? We can uh, start bagging some good points. What is the contrast between GT racing and touring car racing that makes it so difficult to adapt? Um, obviously, the racecraft in <laughs> GCs, you get a little bit more room and whatnot, but it's, that's not really been the problem. It's been it's been the one lap pace, um, just trying to generate that in myself. Um, and it's just to be honest, it's just getting used to the car. Um, the race pace has been strong all year. Um, but it's just getting the car right on the edge in qualifying that I've uh, lacked a little bit of confidence with. But um, as I said, the last couple of rounds we've made a good step forward. So, yeah, happy. Nine races left. Any targets? Uh, well, I'm sure there are in terms of points uh, and in terms of qualifying as well. Yeah, um, as I just touched on, qualifying's been the main struggle and it's sort of the main focus this weekend and going forward um, if we qualify up there. Um, Sort of well inside the points, and I think we'll stay there in the races and be able to move forward. But as I said, the championship's so strong, everyone down the field's um, so close together. So as soon as you start in a little bit down, it's so hard to come through. Um, so yeah, a big focus on qualifying uh, again today. Another focus for the team uh, Toyota Gazoo is the development of the hybrid car, which is uh, we're going to be seeing in action during the course of uh, uh, today and tomorrow. Um, what sort of involvement have you had on the fringes? What sort of insights can you give us? Um, <laughs> I've not been allowed to get too close, to be honest. Um, I've not been at any of the test days while it's running. So uh, to be completely honest, I don't know that much more than anyone else. Um, Obviously, the team's got a good understanding on how it's going to work, um, and that should should put them in good stead for next year. Step into the future. Meantime, yesterday, you made a step into the past, getting behind the wheel of, was it the 1988 Corolla? Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was an experience. I've, uh, I've never driven anything that old. I've never driven anything um, older before, so it was an uh, experience. I'm, I haven't even driven a manual car since my first car, pretty really? much. So, <laughs> um, at least I didn't stall. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was uh, it was an experience. The uh, it was amazing how bare it was inside and how much space there was inside. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get to do any fast laps, which I did want to do. But uh, yeah, it was good to good to get behind the wheel anyway. Yeah, that was Chris Hodgett's car, which he took to some decent results in 1988. And depressingly, I was there. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we look towards the future uh, with a hybrid car yeah. and uh, your continued development in the championship. Sam, yeah. thanks very much. No worries. Thank you.